Yeah, sticking with music. Post Malone. We talked about him a couple of weeks ago, innit? it? Yeah, his mixtape came out. Pretty yeah, good. Um, basically, actually, we got to start with Double XL Freshman List that came out. Mm-hmm. I was proud to see Little Dicky on it. Uh, you know about Little Dicky, yeah? Yeah, I know about Little Dicky. I didn't know you knew about Little Dicky like that. No, fam. Did you listen to his album? I haven't yeah, listened, I listened to his, to his album. album. Was his album good? I think it's good because his videos are gen- no, he can rap. He can, he can rap. rap, and he's hilarious. He's like a good version of the Lonely Island. Yeah, I'll give him that. Like he's a comedy they look rapper. Exactly, they like, look this they similar. Look Jewish. Yeah, he took. Um, I think he looked at them and was like, "I can do this, but I can actually rap." Mm, yeah, and the guy can actually spit bars. I thought his album was good. Like, it, it, I haven't actually. It's not to one his of those. Album. It weren't. Maybe it weren't. It not a re-listen album though. I only oh. listened to it like <laughs> once or twice. I appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, but I'm not, like you get me. I'm not really a comedy, comedy rapper. Rap. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, really. So I'm not that's really why I didn't really. If you're into comedy rap, then definitely download it. Get involved with that. Because I, I like. It to be, you know, kind of serious with yeah. a little bit of outrageousness, a little bit of comedy here and I there. Love I love that money. To, um, comedy throughout the whole thing. Like yeah, that's why yeah. I like Big Sean and whatnot because he says some hilarious yeah, stuff. And like, yeah, yeah. Um, and like Gucci because he says outrageous shit now and again. Mm, um, old Eminem. Oh my days! Eminem was <laughs> the king of this yeah, shit. He was the king. Of he it. was. Um, that's why I'm so disappointed that he's so weak now. Mm. So weak, fam. So weak. It's just it's heartbreaking because it's because he's not on drugs no more, fam. You think so? Yeah. You think he was on drugs from day one? Yeah, he admitted it. He said the first album he done without taking drugs was Encore. That was after. That was the a M&M good album, show. wasn't it? Yeah, but that was the beginning, of the downfall, really. No, nah, but it's it was crap from relapse and recovery. No, nah, recovery was good, fam. Relapse was good as well. Oh uh, no, it wasn't. It was the last album that was absolutely trash. What Marshall Minds? Marshall Minds and P two. That I mean, was LP2. Just, yeah. He just was like, let me capitalise on Marshall Mathers that, one. And make he should have never done that. He should have exactly. just called it something else. Exactly. Like, he, he hurt the legacy. Yeah. By oh, making such a put some, fucking Put dirt on album. the name of Marshall Mathers LP, man. And Marshall Mathers LP is so Classic. great. Classic. It is so great for him. That's why, like, because I listen to that in Eminem, innit? When I'm listening to Eminem, I've got, like, his first two albums. I haven't even yeah. got anything after that. I probably should um, download his other stuff. But um, yeah, I haven't got anything after that. So when I'm like listening to this sort of Eminem and this is what's coming on in my shuffle now and then, and then I hear him release something like Relapse and Recovery, or no, Relapse was ages ago. Oh, was Recovery the one after Relapse or was Relapse Recovery the one was of... after Relapse? Yeah. yeah, Recovery was super dead. Um, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Relapse. I was listening. I remember I was playing Bionic Commando on Xbox 360 or something. So this was back in the day. This was probably before I was even like 15 or whatnot. Probably like 14. Yeah, Relapse at the time. came up. Time. Ago. Yeah, and I remember it was mediocre. It was, nah, it was good. Meh, man. meh. Nice that album. Meh. I remember that, those were the days I had speakers. Meh. Like I think I. How was I playing it? It Why was. Did I have speakers. Meh. I never mm. had a CD of that. I think I downloaded it onto a CD and put it in or something like that. It just it just and wasn't I was playing PS3. It no, wasn't. it went PS3 times. I'm you didn't PS3 them times. Yeah, it just wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. Recovery wasn't good. But w- wait, what was we discussing? Um, Fucking Post Malone. Yeah. yeah so Post basically, um, yeah, the freshman. Not, we're not yeah, saying yeah. all white rappers look alike, by the way. No, no, no. no. We just segue through great, that bare white rapper. rappers there. Like, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, we did have Big Sean in there. Yeah, yeah. Flipping. Um, yeah, so Post Malone, basically Double XL was asked on Breakfast Club why Post Malone wasn't in it, um, the freshman list, because Post Malone basically did have a mad introduction last year, yeah, um, and he probably does deserve to be on that freshman freshman list because he's more known than any of those artists there, yeah, apart from designer. Yeah. Um, I was kind designer's of sh- got a Vogue advert, you know, he's out here. Designer's out here, like he's got like a super off hot, one song, off one song, fam. <laughs> And he's got good music behind him, so when you have Kanye behind you, that's a good look as well. I just um, got one song, you know. But yeah, basically, Double XL said in the interview that when they tried to contact Post Malone, his people were basically saying that he's more on a country vibe or something. Um, he's not on a hip hop thing at the moment. And um, basically, Post Malone had this to say back to Double XL. Dear Vanessa, Double XL, internet, etc. My love of music shouldn't ever be questioned, full stop. I shouldn't be chat, um, satisfied for expressing myself. Chastised. Yeah, that. Chastised for expressing myself in whichever way I see yeah. fit. 
that being said, I never had once said that I'm going, quote unquote, that I am going to make hip hop anymore, that I'm not going to make hip hop anymore, dot, dot, dot. I have a hip hop album coming out in August. I made a hip hop um, mixtape promoting my hip hop album, dot, dot, dot. These, the, all the hip hops were in capital letters, by the way. Even if I was to assume a silly alter ego of Leon DeChino or make a fucking acid polka project, and shave my head, it's all reflective of what I'm going through as an artist and even more dash a living person. Everyone has the right to do whatever they want to fucking do. And yeah, I agree. I want to continue making hip hop. I want to continue writing songs on my guitar. I want to continue working with talented artists across any genre and continue doing the shit that I love. I'm in this for the pure purpose of creating what I want because it's who I am. No ulterior motives. End of story. I didn't want to do the cover because I was tired and didn't want to take the six hour flight to New York from the horse's mouth. No, he said, no, he said or she said, if you don't like me, politely fuck off. I <laughs> love my friends slash fans who rock with me for the goddamn art of art with love, Posty. Um, hmm. So, yeah, that's what he's basically saying. He just Have XL responded? I'm not 100% sure. Let me find out with our trusty friend Google. <laughs> Shout out to Google. Um, But, yeah, I hit... Oh, he did. They did. 39 minutes ago. Uh, early this morning, June 16, post responded. In response... Oh. No, don't go down. They wrote an Instagram post. Okay, yeah, they've responded. All right, so dear Post Malone, I hear you and respect your message, but we can only go off information we are given. Your publicity team told us you were moving away from hip hop and didn't want to be boxed into being a hip hop artist because you were working on other genres of music, such as rock, pop, and country. So you didn't want to meet with us. We found that hard to believe, so we tracked down your manager for days. We tried very hard to get him on the phone to discuss this and be clear on where um, you stood with us, but he would never get on a call. <laughs> we, we sent messages to you through other artists and industry folk that we were trying to get to you, but we never heard back. What we did hear from some of those same people was that you were distancing yourself from hip hop. I have heard um, through quite a few people that you are bothered by what was said on Power 105's At The Breakfast Club about why you didn't do double XL freshman. But all I can say is I was repeating what was communicated to us. We were told you weren't going down the hip hop lane and were doing other music. So that's what I said when we were asked why you weren't part of this year's class. If you did not like the answer, you and your team should have told us something different because all I did was repeat what I was told. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> you didn't say no to the other, to the offer of being a freshman because we didn't even get that far. I wish you all the best of luck with your hip hop album. <sighs> well, you know I don't know who I believe because um, post Post Malone might just be you know spinning the truth into what he wants it to be. To be honest, Marcus Post Malone album. probably didn't even see the response that his people made to Double XL. Maybe it could just be, you know, a lack of communication. Mm. Um, does it matter though? Does it matter that he's not on the freshman cover? Because he should have been on there. Yeah. But he said that he was too tired to go, so he didn't want to go on there, apparently. Yeah. I don't think it doesn't matter really because he's popping in these Because if he anyway. wanted to be on there, he'd be on there. It's not like he's just started popping and yeah. this freshman cover will take his career to a next level. Yeah, no, it won't. I feel like he's already at a level where the f he would be helping the f that cover more, maybe. Well, it seems like, you know, the lady from Excel responded quite nicely, I guess. She was... She wasn't, Stuck to the facts, yeah. She didn't diss him or anything. No, she just basically said, this is what we've heard. And I don't think he really dissed them too much. So I guess they they... Could repair the the, the um, relationship, but I doubt they're going to work together in the future or anytime soon. No, they probably would work in the future if he has his own cover, maybe by himself. Do they do that? I don't really. Yeah. I don't. I don't read magazines or anything, so I don't know what's they going on. They do covers of over there. Oh, it's by themselves and shit. Yeah, I'd never see you know people on covers because don't read magazines. <laughs> yeah, no one reads magazines out in these streets, man. I don't know who's out. Well, I'm not saying nobody, but I'll say that majority of the people that I know doesn't. 
purchase or read magazines. Yeah. I do see people buying magazines at work, though, but um, that's usually girls buying, like, Cosmopolitan or all of them girly magazines. But I just don't understand why you'd buy magazines in this day and age when you can just go on the internet and Some read a blog pe- or something. I think people still appreciate print, innit? Right. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I, I just personally don't yeah. give a shite. I, I don't either, to be honest. But um, uh, but Double XL is known, though. Like, it's it's a known brand. Yeah, but they'll probably be out of publication in three years. Mm, I hope not. Because I like the Double XL freshman list and that. It's a good way of, like, checking to see who they think is coming up and hear these other rappers and shit. And then Have see... you checked out anyone that you saw on the cover? Nope. <laughs> but no, what I usually do is I wait till their freestyles come out, innit? Oh, yeah, because they do the then, freestyles. Yeah, when yeah. they do the freestyles, that'll be a way of me getting to see if they're talented or not. Mm. And if, if someone's freestyle makes me, like, gassed, I'll just go check them out. But usually the people that do gas me are people that I already heard of. Yeah. So I know Little Dicky's going to go in. Designer's probably just going to sound like Future as per usual. Chance the Rapper murdered his one last year. Um, But like I already knew about Chance the Rapper, so it's one of those ones. They haven't... I don't think they've ever brought me on a new artist yet, but I'm out there looking. That means that they're useless. I'm looking though, I'm looking. (laughs) I'm looking. That means they're absolutely useless. Yeah, I don't think they've ever brought me on a new artist that I actually was like, yeah, man's going to take time and listen to this new artist. All right, do you want to get on to the the next thing? Yeah, basically... Yo, thanks for listening, guys. If you want to check out the full podcast, you can click on the SoundCloud link in the description or you can search for Jay Carter Ray or talk about it in the podcast section of the iTunes store and you can find us there. Don't forget to like, rate and subscribe. It really helps us out and we'll see you next time. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you